What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. So I'm quite excited today. We are gonna be testing the Canon R6 to go and shoot some sports. We're gonna be shooting a football match today. Gonna to try it out, first time I've used it. I did a video, the video previous to this one where we set up the camera and you can see the settings I'm gonna use. You can see how I'm gonna set it up. Gonna head down to this local football game just near us. Gonna show you how it works. Gonna show you a load of the images and we'll see how we get on. I think it's gonna be a cool video. Really Really excited to test this out. Now I talked in the last video, I've got another couple of videos coming. We're going to be testing the electronic shutter, going to be testing the face detection and a few other bits as well. But this is just the first kind of general go at heading out and shooting sports. Does it hold up with my 1DX? Is it good enough to use for professional sports work? I think hopefully it's going to be. Really excited to see. So without further ado, let's head down to the local park, let's go shoot a football game, then we will come back here and we can have a look at the images okay guys so we are here with the r6 set up ready to shoot now i'm going to use a mixture of the uh the 300 mil and also my 7200 to really make sure we get a good accurate test to start with i've set it up kind of almost just as i would any other camera um, i'm using the mechanical shutter now the main reason for that is because i will be doing a whole separate video about the electronic shutter but we're using the mechanical shutter i'm shooting in full manual mode so i'm about shutter speed like 12 50th of a second uh, f 2.8 and then iso whatever it needs to be to balance that out probably around probably probably only about 320 something like that here right now just gonna have a crack at it shoot a load of images see how we get on and then we can look at them back in the office i'm looking forward to doing it i have not pressed the shutter button on this camera yet in anger and i'm really excited to do it <laughs> about enough of the 300 mil right now let's switch over to the 70 to 200 let's see how we go Okay, so we are back in the office and I think look first most immediate thing to say is that whoa it performs well like I'm really really impressed with it got a load of great images everything it kept up with the speed of it the, the frame rate uh, the autofocus I found everything to be really good absolutely uh, on par with my 1DX I would even say probably well not probably I, I think the autofocus is better than the 1DX and by that I mean it just seemed absolutely absolutely flawless really really impressed with it got a whole host of different images so i'm going to start sharing um these images onto the screen now while i talk so you guys can just see the images that i took with it now i made a fairly last minute change here where normally i shoot everything in jpeg but actually i thought i would shoot in raw several reasons why i did that mainly a so that i could really kind of pixel peep those images when they got into lightroom B, so I could really kind of play around with editing them and the levels and see what kind of detail we can get from the picture. And the third reason, quite simply, because I thought, you know, it's the first time I'm testing this camera. I want to make sure I get the best quality possible images that I can. Um, and you guys probably know that means shooting raw. So that's exactly what I did. So all the images you're seeing um, were shot in raw, then edited in Lightroom. Not not a massive amount of editing, literally bit of contrast, bit of color. I um, played with the levels ever so slightly. And you guys are seeing those now, obviously converted to JPEG um, as they are exported from Lightroom. So that's the images which are coming through on the screen now. Now, of course, it was daylight, right? So, you know, it wasn't under poor light or anything like that. We will test it under poor lighting when we get a chance, really crank up the ISO level and see how we go on in that situation. But this was mostly uh, in the daytime. The rough settings, I'm going to put them onto the screen here with some of the images, but roughly speaking, um, I was at 1250th of a second, f2.8. Then my ISO was jumping between like 100, 200, 
good depending on when the sun was in and out behind the clouds and stuff like that. But as I said, look, some of the main things. So first of all, the autofocus. I was using the center point uh, autofocus in servo mode. I ended up using the like the mini kind of cross head, the expanded cross quite a bit. Found that quite useful. Really found that to work well. Really tracked well. I mean, the tracking was perfect. So quick, like lightning quick to snap onto those subjects. Really, really good. Like I said, the autofocus blown me away. I would say right up there with the 1DX, 100%. Now, of course, remember I'm comparing it with the 1DX Mark One. I. I don't know how it compares directly with the 1DX Mark III, which is of course the newest model of the 1DX, but seeing how this performs, I would guess it's probably gonna be on a level with it. Moving from there onto the speed of the camera. Now you guys might know if you watch my videos, I did some testing of the EOS R for sports. Got some great quality images, but the problem we had, it couldn't keep up with the speed. The frame rate just was not quick enough. Had absolutely no problems with the R6. It's lightning fast. Now with the mechanical shutter that I was using, you can get up to 12 frames per second. So it's no problems at all with 12 frames per second. Of course, with the electronic shutter, when we test that, we're gonna be able to get up to 20 frames per second. That's gonna be insane. But 12 frames per second, absolutely fine with me. That worked totally great. Didn't miss anything. I'll put up a couple of back-to-back -back images here so you can see the sequence of how quick it keeps up with the action. Couple of other key questions that I've seen coming out, which I'll kind of address specifically. Um, battery life. So I, I had the one battery with me, the one that came with the camera. Uh, I fully charged it before I went out to shoot the game. I went out there, shot the entire game, little bit of pre-game stuff, all the first half, um, nothing in, in, this, in half time, obviously, all of the second half. I came home um, and the battery is still showing full across the bars no change whatsoever so will, will there be some battery life issues in the long run possibly a lot of people seem to be worried about that but in terms of me today shooting a football game literally no issue whatsoever so not something that I'm really worried about of course I've got some other spare batteries that I will use if I need to no issue whatsoever one battery um, did not even change on the screen in terms of the battery bars so I think we're all good how's about the speed of recording the images now one thing I did notice when I was shooting raw and when I was recording both the images the same to both memory cards so I'm shooting raw 12 frames per second trying to record all those images to both memory cards the camera did get a little bit backed up and took a while to catch up by that I mean I didn't get massive buffering issues in terms of me not being able to take the photos but but what I did get was it would back up in terms of the image review so I'd fire off a set of images you know eight nine images in quick row and then try to review them just to quickly see how the autofocus was keeping up and I would have to wait a few seconds for those images to get recorded onto the card so I could see them on the back screen. Now bearing in mind that might be down to the speed of my memory cards as much as it is anything to do with the camera and actually when I did then switch to JPEG to give it a test I found it to be near enough no issue at all. It seemed to be just when I was shooting raw images both two raw images recording to both cards that's when it seemed to get a little bit slower to me that's understandable when you're shooting 12 frames per second raw then recording to both memory cards that seems fair enough to me I'm not too concerned about that I don't think that's going to cause me any kind of like operational issue when I'm out there shooting a game especially when I'm shooting JPEG just to kind of reiterate on that point I'm talking worst case scenario was when I fired off like eight nine ten frames in a row in raw and even then we're probably talking three four seconds what's up guys future rob here so i don't feel like i answered that question really well enough so what i've done i've got the camera right here i've set it up to the exact same settings that i was shooting at the game um one uh 12 50th of a second f2.8 iso 160 raw recording images to both cards i'm going to fire off a burst of about 10 12 frames i've got the stopwatch right here and we're going to time exactly how long it takes takes to clear that buffer so let's give this a go okay here we go let's fire this off that's about 10 i've started the stopwatch the images are going now clearing the buffer and done right so that took it was probably how many frames was it, it was so it was actually 14 frames that i fired off there and to clear the buffer beginning to end took 5.96 seconds. So I would say that is fine, bearing in mind that was recording uh, raw to both memory cards at the same time. Right, back to the video, back to past Rob. 
So look, overall, I think a pretty good experience. I'm pleased with it. If you guys would like to see any more of the images, go check me out on Instagram. I'm posting a couple of them over there. At Rob Sandals Sport is the best place to find me. If you guys are enjoying these videos about the R6, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We've got another couple of videos coming on this really, really soon. The next one is going to be testing this electronic shutter to see how it gets on for sports. I'm really excited about that because if we've got a usable electronic shutter up to 20 frames per second that is going to be a big one that's going to be really awesome and i'm looking forward to giving that a go in the meantime guys thank you very much for watching i'm going to see you i will see you on the next video